Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to tell you about how Israel is not the worst human rights violator in the world, okay? Yes, Israel does some things that I don't agree with, okay? But in Israel, Christians enjoy freedom of religion higher in Israel than they do in any than they do compared to any other nation in the Middle East. That's number one. Okay, number two, Israel democratically elects its leaders, okay? Number three, Israel lets its Arab members serve in the Knesset, which is their parliament, okay? That's not racist, okay? Now, here's four, okay? Yes, the Arab population of Israel doesn't have the same rights as Jews do, but... Here's the butt part. This is key. Arabs in Israel don't have conscription. Men and Jewish men and women in Israel have conscription into the Israeli military, and that's two years of their life um, to where they have to serve in the military to be full citizens of Israel. Arabs can choose to serve in the Israeli military, and when they do, they have full citizenship rights. And they still get free health care in Israel. Um, there have been times where they'll show up in hospitals, get free health care, and then a few days later show up at the same medical center as a suicide bomber or go into a restaurant and go, a restaurant a few blocks later and be a suicide bomber. Do most Arabs in Israel do that? No, absolutely not. Most Arabs in Israel can't stand Hamas. But this is a, an issue and it's a problem. And Israel is not the worst human rights violator, and the UN Human Rights Committee needs to get that through their head. They let Venezuela serve on the UN Human Rights Committee, or the UN Human Rights Council, and Venezuela has no business being there. And that Venezuela uses their status to block any human rights resolutions against Venezuela, which is why the UN does, has not passed any resolutions towards Venezuela and their human rights violations. But, um, and also go to number five, you know, go on the case for Israel, the, or Israel is not the worst human rights violator. There are the Circassian or Circassian spelled C-I-R-C-A-S-S-I-A-N and they're Muslims and they live in Israel and they're proud to be Israelis because they enjoy greater freedom in Israel than they do in their native Syria. And with what's going on in Syria right now, if they return to Syria, they'll be killed or executed um, they'll be executed or they'll be executed or imprisoned, excuse me, or killed or imprisoned. And that was like that when Syria was ran completely by Assad. The war in Syria has made their situation worse, but at the same time, they, the Circassians or Circassians, they were ostracized in Syria and they were basically kicked out and ousted and Israel lets them stay. And they are completely Muslim. So, anyways. That's what goes on in Israel. They're one of the they're one of the first nations to respond to the earthquake in Turkey. They're one of the first nations to respond to the earthquake in Haiti. They do plenty of things in Ramallah and the West Bank that I don't agree with. I don't like how they shut off the water to um, people in the Gaza Strip or the West Bank just because of um, of a handful of terrorists. Um, but the handful of terrorists do cause lots of problems, so I can understand why they do, but I still don't agree with it. I also don't agree with some of how they don't control some of the ultra-right-wing, zealot, orthodox Jews that trash Arab Christian churches or Arab mosques, and, and sometimes they just sometimes they get a heavy prison sentence, but then sometimes they just get a slap on the wrist. That I don't agree with either, but Israel is not the worst human rights violator in the world. Anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.